My name is Buddhimin Ratna. I am Professor of Civil Engineering and a Research Director. I come from a family where everybody is a doctor. And uh, practically my brother, my sister, my mother, they're all in the medical field. And I think from the time I wanted to be different. <laughs> And I think one of the things that inspired me from the time was that uh, when I left Sri Lanka, I was practically brought up in London from the time I was about 13 years old. Uh, and since I was attending high school in England, I had an uncle who is my father's youngest brother, who was a civil engineer. And I was fascinated by the drawings he was making and uh, his uh, study was full of these drawings. And I was very keen to explore more of this. And then I became very interested in civil engineering and became a civil engineer. Uh, and later, when I started working in industry, I was working in dams and tunnels, I realized that my undergraduate knowledge was nowhere near the, to understand exactly what these complicated field problems. So that prompted me to do geotechnical research. So one thing led to another. And I think I'm very, very happy that uh, I became a geotechnical engineer and not a medical practitioner. From the time I was a child, I was fascinated with rails. I used to play with model trains all the time, and uh, so that was a passion. But my work of, of the real serious thinking of doing research in uh, railways happened after I came to Australia in 1991, when I realized that compared to the rest of the developed world, that Australian railways need a lot of improvement. And I also realized that there is not a single university in Australia that had researchers who are working on railway tracks. So that prompted me to think of that area. And then when the uh, Olympics 2000 was announced, uh, uh, around 1997, the railway organizations in New South Wales were particularly interested uh, in me doing uh, research on railway tracks just to make sure that they can cater for the a higher demand uh, during that time and that is how railway research took off. My passion for research is actually to deliver goods to industry where there are real problems and all our research projects are practically focused on solving industry problems. How do we excite undergraduates to work on areas which are important to industry and where one feels that uh, there is a very high level of good research that can be funded in the future. Well, the undergraduates are always out looking for jobs, especially when they come towards their final year. And we encourage them to do their undergraduate dissertations or projects which are often closely linked with industry problems. And not only that, we encourage our undergraduates to work very closely with the PhD students and the master's students. So they get a taste of research and what the outcomes are and how excited people become when they find something new even before they graduate. So we give our undergraduates the choice, do you want to go after graduation straight to industry as good practicing engineers or would you like to spend three more years or two more years continuing your knowledge that you do for your dissertation and extend that towards doing research degrees. We give that choice to the students and you find that some of them will take the second option where they think that they have done a very exciting undergraduate thesis where perhaps I should spend three more years making this a PhD. And that happens and we have seen that happen, happening and the university and our centers have to do everything possible to create that environment and to encourage them to do so. Well, something that I have been able to do is to inspire all my students and other young colleagues through my own work ethics and work habits. Uh, they see me in the walking into the labs very often, looking at what they are doing. They see me uh, looking at their submissions and giving feedback. And uh, they realize that uh, I'm very interested in what they are doing and that uh, I like to share with them uh, my ideas and to recognize what they do. So this is a bit like how we run a family. And so the young people want to be accepted, they want to be appreciated for what they do. And uh, that actually encourages them to make sure that they please the supervisor because they know that the supervisor is looking forward to good outcomes. They know that the supervisor is regularly checking and asking them questions and uh, showing great interest in what they do. So they are also excited to make sure that they come out with good results that not only benefit them, but they want to make an impression on everybody else. So I think that kind of family-like 
uh, running the research centers has been very helpful to me. And I think uh, the students do enjoy that. And the uh, students realize, and I must admit at this stage, out of the 45 class PhD graduates that I have completed over the last 20 years, more than one third of them have won either national or international awards. Well, the first thing is that they have to be very skilled in sophisticated numerical modeling. This is how the world is going. The problems in the field, the problems that we are currently facing are very complicated that one cannot do just hand calculations anymore. Uh, the, the problem solution involves sophisticated computer programs, uh, writing uh, software and executing them and interpreting the data. And very often, the, uh, these young people have to be very familiar with high quality field instrumentation. Because even if you do co high level computer models, they got to be implemented in practice. And there must be some kind of performance validation in the field. And industry is happy to apply this research, but then you got to validate. Uh, and uh, so these young people also have to be very familiar with good quality field instrumentations and when they get the data how to interpret that, that data and to calibrate the models and that to validate them. So once the industry gets the confidence that uh, this uh, kind of research is actually working well, then they have the confidence to apply that to other projects. Uh, and that becomes very cost effective because you don't spend the same amount of time every time you do similar work in other field cases.